Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians. Aries here with a video. Uh, I was looking over my uh, diary before I upload videos. I have to uh, figure out uh, what I'm doing today. It's in my load. Uh, this is my diary for 12-1 uh, of 2013. This is the final month of 2013, and it goes bye-bye forever unless they redo the calendar and we get another 2013. Which will be like an eon from now, and then they'll find my video from the past stored somewhere, unless there's some nuclear holocaust or some stupid thing. But I just wanted to share with you uh, today. So I've been busy. I've been trying to get things moving on uh, other issues. Uh, like I said, saw the neighbor today. I got to see a guy tomorrow about picking up a TV. Tonight's dinner is barbecued ribs and macaroni and cheese. That's right, the prime rib's gone. All we have left is the ribs and the rib sections. And then it's all uh, good. Uh, so, talking to uh, Angela's sister about the Bible. We all have our own differences. I'm not going to ram down my religious preferences to her. She said something interesting that I actually wanted to look up while she's at the store. Something to do with... The religious aspects of Jesus and God being one. So, um, I got to talk to Aaron about business tonight over dinner. I got to talk to Aaron about me uh, placing a, uh, some cigar, uh, order for cigars tonight uh, for soon. Um, I also, you know, um, I also need to talk to Aaron about uh, Chinese food because we have a Chinese restaurant we both want to try and it might be a good month to do it depending on uh, Aaron so we'll see what happens so anyways please excuse me for a minute I was just answering this so I uh, got to talk to Aaron about that I got to call my adopted granny up check on her tonight you know uh, I was supposed to chat with someone on Skype that fell through till Wednesday if they ever get back to me via uh, uh, things and then I got video game reviews to work on my Amazon wish list I've updated already tomorrow is going to be a simple day don't do much because frankly I don't have to do much so you know see like I said it was just a quick type 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 so um so yes tomorrow's uh you know I'm hoping to get some of my spreadsheets updated uh, I'm not going to do them all. I'm hoping to break them down into two sections. Section A and Section B. Section B being next month. And maybe do Section C in February. And then not give two dangs about it. Because what's the point of updating it that often, you know? Because um, it is a big project. And I frankly am getting to the point in my life where I really don't care. If I'm going to spend 500 bucks at a time. I should just do what I want with 500 bucks. Get it over with, you know? So, uh, that is the video, uh, you know, on that aspect of my, uh, my, um, uh, you know, part of my diary. Um, the other thing is, is there's Mopalope. He just came in with Aaron. Um, so, uh, Aaron was doing a food, uh, 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 food inventory, and then when we were done, we were going to converse about it. Um, one of the catalogs I wanted Aaron to look up, he's got a copy himself so he can look at pricing. I might place an order since Aaron does not know what it's going to cost to make uh, chicken keeve and chicken cordon bleu. It's two dishes I'd like to try, even if it's a few dollars in this catalog. We've already discussed pecan and pumpkin pie. I don't know if we want to make a... Uh, chicken keeve is essentially just bread and butter. Well, you just uh, interrupted my video, butter. thank you. And the other thing I was looking at is maybe old-fashioned apple pie or something, you know, as a dessert. Um, he was talking about key, chicken key being bread and butter. Well, that's his opinion. I'm just looking at it from my own uh, perspective. You know, there's dishes in here. And these pizzas in here look really good for the price, by the way. I was going to talk to Aaron tonight about dinner and what uh, uh, other ideas and see what he's got to say. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's part of the business. And like I said, this month... Uh, I ha didn't know if I wanted to go. I got some papers here. Uh, I think I wrote in the back. I'm not sure. But it says here what I need to do to um, get a credit back right here on my account and blah, blah, blah. And how to get a deal. I got two of them, though, for light bulbs. 
And, uh, you know, I have to have energy brand model number, yada, 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 how many I bought. And they can give me $2.50 credit per light bulb, and I need to buy a ton of light bulbs for my apartment. So, I figured I would get in a deal and then have them credit my account for my electric bill on the lights I'm buying for uh, light bulbs. So then I'm good. And usually uh, that'd be probably about a year's supply of light bulbs since, well, frankly, you know, I got five up here and then I got one, two, uh, three in there. And then I got one under the stove and then I got three in my bathroom. So that's eight. And then I got two in my bedroom. That's ten. Two in the hall, that's 12. So buying a dozen light bulbs, that will be pretty good when it comes to saving. And if Walmart has a special on multi-packs, that's fine. Otherwise, I'll just have Walmart, uh, I'll just give them the receipt for the light bulbs. Tell them how much I paid and let them put it on my bill because it's part of the light bulb plan. And that's all I need probably for the entire year. Now, if it goes out before the year, I can always, um, you know, uh, get some more light bulbs and just do the same thing because it's part of the plan. So, um, on that aspect. So tonight I got game reviews. I got some game reviews to go over. I got some projects to go over in this paper. I was supposed to look up this information on my paper again. Angela was asking me the other day if it's fun. It is if you know what year you're looking for. There's certain years I'm looking for, like 2005 to 2013. So, the rest of them are older and already done. So, I don't have to worry. But once you get these and you put them in the right date, it's fine um, on that. Uh, so, yes. Um, I just want to say in my video blog, I hope you enjoyed Christmas Memories Part 6 because, well, it just brings back some good memories of Christmas, Christmas shopping, etc. I will try to do a Christmas Memory Part 7 tomorrow with my blog because, well, it's a Christmas season and uh, I'd like to share... Uh, more uh, Christmas uh, memories with you all and uh, go from there. Oh, and by the way, Christmas memory videos will also include Christmas uh, dinner memory videos as well, which means they'll be integrated. So, um, so tonight I will go and add a few things to my, my, uh, my organizer for uh, projects so I can get things done for this month. And then uh, shopping will be good. I also got to get in touch with HP again for replacement of my batteries again on my tablets. Uh, you know. And then I will um, uh, replace it and then I'm good to go. So on, uh, um, on the, that aspect. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I just want to share that with you. Um, so, um, yeah, otherwise all is gravy, like they say, and I'm hoping, you know, um, um, uh, hoping everything's good, so you know how that is, you know, so, um, um, uh, so, yep. Oh, and by the way, just to let you know on my video blog, I've seen a lot of transsexuals on some dating sites that are not transsexuals. They're genetic girls, like this one uh, today I saw that claims they're a uh, preoperative, yet they are 18 years old and they've had breast implants. I'm sorry, but 18 years old, you don't get breast implants yet. You have to be on hormones for at least a year, so... Um, so anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. So a lot of these girls, even in America, that claim the transsexual aren't because they're genetic and in some type of game, um, I'm sorry to say, uh, they're playing. And a lot of them I've seen, uh, foreign women, especially Filipinos, uh, I have asked Aaron a couple times about genetics or, uh, not genetics. For example, if I, if I was told... Uh, for example, Angela and Heather were transsexuals. I would ask Aaron directly, genetic or non-genetic. And if they look that good on their pictures, they're genetic. Um, the Filipinos that I've talked to, they're all genetic. I mean, one basically claimed that she had 34 B implants put in. She's 5 foot 11. You don't have 34 Bs put in at 5 foot 11. Sorry. And if you're in the Philippines, you're poor. You don't have implant money. So technically, it's just all all you know scammers so and I know UV tech and you jet black like to hear about you know what's going on with me and Angela and what's going on with my life and etc well there you go you know I mean 
I'm not going to go and share a, pi a video because I can't go and post their pictures. I don't own them even though they're foreign women. Of the scammers I've encountered that were all genetic women. I mean, one lady said she has like D, D breasts, yet she had it all silicone injections, not implants. I'm sorry, you're a genetic girl. That doesn't fly with me. Two scammers, they keep messaging me wanting money for food. Sorry, the food scam's not going to work with me, even if you had a super typhoon. And then there's others that just, you know, I'm sorry to say, but every time someone messages me and they claim they're preoperative or postoperative transsexual, they're not. They're 100% genetic female. wonder what their game is. Maybe they want to claim they're transsexual so they can get into the country, uh, into our country. I don't know. I have no answers. But I'm just telling you what I think and what I've seen with my own eyes. I've saw seven trans uh, people, sorry, seven people disguising themselves as transsexuals when they are completely and thoroughly uh, genetic. So, can I interrupt? Yes, this is just my video um, diary. I'll tell you why they're doing it, Miss Rita Lee. They're doing it because they think that trannies. If are, you want to see, so they're doing it that. because they think trannies are desperate people. If they can claim to be tranny too, they might find love with another tranny. Yeah, right. No, they want the other tranny to feel that they're in love so that they give money. Because if they're so desperate, they're going to pay for it. And they're going to keep paying for it. And they're usually pretty quick to pay for it because they're so desperate. Uh, so, yeah, that's really what the scam is. And the ones that are in America that are faking it, I think it's an attention thing. They, they get more attention that way because people think they're some freak or something. So, and trannies all say, well, you look so good. I wish I knew how you could afford it, what doctors you went through. And so then they feel like a mentor to these tranny people. <clears throat> so that's really what it's about. You got the Americans who want to be a mentor and feel like they're some goddess because of how great they look. And then you got the Filipinos and the other foreigners who are thinking they can get Americans to send them money because they're desperate for somebody and they're willing to go with another transsexual because they feel in touch with them. That's all it is. Anyways, as Eric said, you know, the, you know, I have my own thoughts. He's got his own thoughts. Oh, and about that one with the silicone uh, injection, she's about a B. She claims to be a D. And a lot of these... They're claiming a size that they obviously aren't. No, the uh, B one is five foot ten. And, yes, I but know. But they had implants. The one you're talking about is the I one. Yes, I know. The one with the silicone injection says that she's a D. But if you look at her picture, she's very clearly not even much more than a B. So. Well, he's a boob man. He knows better than I have boobs. But the other thing I want to say I'm before. I'm not a boob man. It's because you're always asking me. I have to look at them. And then I have to try to figure out, and there is a way to determine. I was going to say something in my diary, but then he interrupted Sorry. yet again. Uh, like I said, Aaron knows all about boobs, and he can analyze no, it from don't. the top. Now, here's what I wanted to say. Uh, when it comes to the other question that I'm going to be looking up online is, is Jesus and God one? Well, some people say he is, some people say he isn't. Jesus said... He who's seen me has seen the Father, and he that's seen the Father has seen me. Well, excuse me, but he didn't say he was Jesus, uh, God. Second thing is, Pontius Pilate says, you are the Son of God. He says, you said so yourself. He didn't confirm he was the Son of God. He just said, you know, or the, you know, etc. They said, oh, you are uh, the Son of God. And he says, you say that I am. Jesus never confirmed or denied that he was the Son of God or um or um god himself you know he just said he was a man but i'm gonna read scriptures to find out because someone brought it up to my attention so for the rest of you please add subscribe if you like please post comments in the box if you like please add me as a friend if you like please subscribe if you like may you have a blessed day and may you have a blessed year and uh may god bless the united states and may god bless the world thank you and amen